today we're attempting to ketify a viral fall favorite from Trader Joe's. And that favorite is the butternut squash ravioli. So when you imagine fall in your mind and you picture fall, what do you see? Personally, I see nothing because I have aphantasia, which means that I have no mind's eye. I cannot picture anything, but Sarah does not have aphantasia, which is interesting because we're twins. Sarah, what do you see in your mind when you picture fall? I see fall leaves on the ground. I see jack-o'-lanterns. I see pumpkins with warts. Oddly shaped gourds. We're going in a weird direction now. I'm talking about aesthetically that you imagine squash. Trader Joe's has a lineup of amazing fall delectables, almost none of which we can have, as usual. So when I was scrolling on TikTok, I came across the viral Trader Joe's butternut squash ravioli, and I said, you know what? We can't have that. But then I thought, yes, we can. Because Sarah and I use a hack on our channel, we've done this hack three or four times already, and it is amazing. This hack makes the perfect keto-friendly ravioli shell. And if you're new here, Sarah and I like to call ourselves the Keto Twins Test Kitchen because we like to try and test recipes for all of you. We like to look at a recipe and say, what can we do to make this keto? And this butternut squash ravioli, it doesn't sound keto at all, right? And honestly, we gotta talk about butternut squash because butternut squash is not necessarily keto either. It has a lot of carbs in it. One cup of cooked butternut squash has about 16 total carbs, 15 net carbs per one cup. That's pretty carb dense if you ask me. Because raviolis take such little amount of filling, we can get a lot for our money and for our carbs if we use this as a filling for the ravioli. So don't discount it just because one cup of butternut squash has a lot of carbs in it. Think about how much you're actually gonna be using of the ingredient and that's how Sarah and I operate. Sarah and I call ourselves technically keto. 70% of the time we eat very simply, but 30% of the time we like to incorporate stuff like this. So some butternut squash in a recipe is not gonna throw us off. So we're gonna be adapting a recipe from the Food Network. And in this recipe, it says to have two entire butternut squashes. I mean, how many ravioli are you gonna make? This is gonna make 5,000 ravioli. We only purchased one butternut squash, and so that's the one we're gonna be using. But even still, that is going to make a lot of filling. So you could probably save this for later. You're definitely going to be saving this for later because it's gonna make like dozens of ravioli just from this filling. We're pretty much gonna be fourthing, is that even a word? It is now. We're gonna be fourthing the recipe because we honestly don't even need this much filling. So the thing that's gonna take the longest is the butternut squash. So we're gonna cook that first. So we've cut our butternut squash in half successfully. It did take longer than anticipated, but I still have all my fingers, which is good. We filled it with butter. More about that later. We took a couple tablespoons of brown sugar swerve and we kind of dotted it on top, sprinkled it on top. We put some salt and pepper on it and we stuck it in the oven. So while those are in the oven, we're gonna talk about the sponsor of this video, Caraway. I was scrolling on Instagram one day and I happened across a Caraway ad and their ad was so beautifully aesthetic that I just drooled over their website for quite some time. But then they reached out to us to sponsor videos on our channel and we got to pick out two sets of Caraway pans. Sarah picked out the classic gray and I picked out the sage. Since Sarah and I are keto, we definitely care about our health and we love that Caraway is made from 100% non-toxic materials. Caraway products are naturally non-stick. They require less butter and oil for cooking and they require minimal scrubbing to look perfect. We mainly cook in Sarah's kitchen and it's quite small in here. We love that the Caraway set comes with storage options for both the pans and the lids. You can stand them upright in a cabinet and hang the lids on the door. And that is crucial for a small kitchen like Sarah's. And the holiday season is fast approaching and Caraway products make the perfect gift. In fact, Sarah bought some for her mother-in-law who absolutely loves them. Visit carawayhome.com slash keto November to take advantage of this limited time offer for up to 20% off your next purchase. This deal is exclusive for our audience, so click the link in our description to access this sale. Ah! That's a lot of butter. We're gonna let these cool down and then we're gonna move on to the next step. So we have to talk about how we already misjudged the situation. The recipe called for a lot of butter. And so I just stuck about half a butter stick into each of these and cooked it. I think that's way too much, obviously. And so while I do love butter, I feel like I did too much. We are gonna be leaving what I actually am gonna do for this recipe in the description below. The original recipe called for four halves of butternut squash and we had two here. So we put about double the amount of butter that you should have been using. We're gonna empty the butter out and save it for later. So for this recipe, you're gonna be needing butternut squash and all of the filling ingredients, which include garlic, onion, ricotta, sage, salt and pepper. 
And the hack that Sarah and I always use to make our ravioli is by using Sargento provolone cheese slices. If you are new here, you've never seen this before, but if you are not new here, you have tried this already and you love it. Don't take our word for it. I'm gonna read you a comment that we got just yesterday about this hack. Mary Sunshine 67 said, you totally knocked this out of the ballpark. It is divine. Oh, how I've missed my pasta, but with this recipe and your pumpkin goat cheese ravioli, that's another one we did, I'm back in business. Thank you, Mary Sunshine 67 This is going to act as your ravioli shell. So for our filling, you're gonna start a pan on medium heat. You're gonna put about one tablespoon of olive oil. We're gonna add in about a fourth of a large onion or one really small onion. <laughs> you're gonna put in one clove of minced garlic and you're gonna get that nice and cooked. I'm gonna scrape the innards of this butternut squash into a bowl. And once our garlic, onions, and sage are all cooked down, I'm gonna be adding the squash into the pan. We're gonna cook this all down until it resembles a puree. And then we're gonna load it into our food processor and get all the big chunks out. Also, we are going to be adding salt and pepper throughout. Very festive. Next, we're gonna fold in the ricotta with a squash puree. I'm gonna try it because I wanna see if it needs salt or pepper. Good? Yes. Finish it off with a touch of salt. We're gonna be leaving a link to this recipe on our website, ketotwins.com, because we're winging it and we will type all this out for you. Because I'm confused right now, I don't know about you. I've gotta yeah. watch this bag to see what we did. Okay, let's talk about our ravioli shells. Sargento provolone cheese slices. These say that they have natural smoke flavor, but I'm very sensitive to that and I don't smell it. So these are the ones that we always use. You could probably use sliced mozzarella. Sarah and I have never tried it before, but it probably will work the same. We're just used to using this, so that's why we use it. So we have our filling set off to the side. It's cooled down, it's not hot. We have preheated our oven to 350 degrees. We're gonna be laying out our Sargento provolone cheese slices, and then we're gonna start filling our ravioli. I have to warn Emily every time, do not overfill the ravioli. Yeah, that is something I really struggle with, but she's right for once. Do not overfill your ravioli or you will regret it. This is about as much as you wanna put in there. It's about a teaspoon of filling. I'm gonna finish filling our ravioli and then we're gonna start making our sauce. So we saw a comment that described the sauce that we are gonna make for this recipe and it just said that she added unsalted butter, wine, heavy cream, grated Parmesan, and salt and pepper but it didn't give any instructions. So I asked our future AI overlords to create a recipe that we could model. You're gonna take your half cup of butter, you're gonna put it in a pan, and then you're gonna brown it. Not until it's burnt, just until it's brown. The milk solids will turn a nice nutty brown color and it will give it a nice nutty flavor. Then you add in your half cup of white wine and you cook off the alcohol in the white wine for a couple of minutes. And then you add in a cup of heavy cream. Then you cook it down for about five to seven minutes and then you stir in your Parmesan. Then we're gonna give it a taste and see if we like it. And we're gonna add in some salt and pepper. Once the sauce is ready, we are going to start cooking our ravioli, which is just basically putting it in the oven at 350 degrees for about a minute until the ravioli shells become nice and translucent, but not bubbly. You just wanna be able to manipulate and close your ravioli shells. You're gonna use your fingers to close the ravioli and then that's it. Make sure that you kind of run your fingers along the edge to keep it nice and tight, the seal. And then we're gonna plate them up, maybe three or four of them, probably four. Serve it with some of our sauce. Go downstairs and try it. So we actually threw some parsley, dried parsley on it at the end there because <laughs> it's a very beige dish which doesn't photograph well or anything like that. So we just put some dried parsley on top. I think Olive Garden does that with everything. <laughs> yeah, why not? Throw a little green on there, never hurts. Also the comment that we took the sauce from and ran with it, she actually used hazelnuts mm -hmm. on top of her ravioli. We couldn't find hazelnuts online. So we Googled what is the closest nut to hazelnuts and it said macadamia nuts. And so then we saw macadamia nuts and it was like $13 for yeah. a little bag of them. Super so expensive. We ended up with pine nuts and there you go that's the story of that we like so. pine nuts so i feel like white <laughs> sauces are kind of they're not aesthetic yeah it's delicious mm, i love all the flavors there you have some sweetness from the swerve and the butternut squash crunchy element with the pine nuts it's salty it's sweet it's fall i think it's really good mm -hmm. i have never had the actual real trader joe's butternut squash so i can't say mm -hmm. if it's comparable. When I was reading the ingredients, they looked pretty comparable. A lot of people that buy the Trader Joe's ravioli, they just kind of serve it with brown butter mm -hmm. or just butter and sage. 
And you could totally do that too. This is such a great hack. And I know that there's recipes out there where you can make dough and make ravioli out of them, but this is so filling. <laughs> it's yeah. filling, but it is easy. It works every time. Not almost every time. It works every, every time. time. Sarah and I are always trying to make better content. We're always trying to like just make our content better over time. And so when you watch videos from three years ago, then two years ago, and then one year ago, and sometimes I watch videos from like a week ago and I'm like, ew. <laughs> <laughs> but we're just trying our best to create fun keto cooking content for all of you. And we hope we're always improving. Yeah. And thanks so much to Caraway for sponsoring this video. And if you're looking for a gift for yourself or for someone else for the holidays, make sure to use our link linked in the description and you're going to get a discount on your order site-wide. If you guys want to see another ravioli video, this is probably one of our favorite dishes we've ever made. It was a mushroom ravioli using this same hack and it is so good. You can click right here to see that video and we'll see you over there. Anyway, I'm Emily. I'm Sarah. I'm and we are the Keto Twins signing out. out.